<laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by please don't make it your last by clicking the subscribe button below and joining the fam and if this isn't hello babes welcome back to my channel it's good to have you all back here so today i'm going to be doing my first q a and honestly I told you guys to send in questions and some of you did send in some pretty interesting questions even though I can't take all the questions I got because I did the Q&A on Facebook and on WhatsApp I couldn't do it on Instagram but I just want you guys to be rest assured I will touch up the like important the most important ones some persons asked me about myself and i deliberately would not be really answering questions like that because i have um a get to know me tag that's the first video on my channel so please refer to that video if you want to know more about me so yeah let's get right into this video so unfortunately i film with my phone and i just have one smartphone an iphone 11 pro and that's what i'm filming with right now so because of that i had to like pen down the questions i got hopefully by the next q and a i get to have another smartphone so that i'll show you guys screenshots as i answer your question but here i penned down some of your questions that i wanted to answer and i actually um tagged some of them fb whatsapp you know and then i tried making correction in some of the sentences but yeah so the first question i have here is what keeps you going i would say what keeps me going is knowing that yesterday and today is not the same and if that's the case then today and tomorrow will definitely not be the same hopefully by god's grace we would keep getting better things will keep happening but we will go through it and we would survive and that's basically what keeps me going i don't i don't want to sound all motivation i'll just say it's god it's god that's what keeps me going god keeps me going and aside that um i have really beautiful people around me i have my siblings and parents who obviously love 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 me and then i have my friends and i have my partner so when i think about them i just kind of there's a little bit of okay encouragement that yes there are people who rely on you who want to see you happy people who actually want support and want to watch you grow to the best version of who you are so that kind of encourages me to keep going and also i look back at where i'm coming from from and then i tell myself it's not the same with what it is right now it is not the same as it was yesterday so why won't you keep going so basically yeah in summary that's what keeps me going i don't know if it makes sense to you but it does to me second question i got this question from facebook somebody asked you why don't you show us your man see as a content creator there's very little part of your life that you get to keep to yourself i don't show you guys 100 percent of my life well i record you guys kind of see bits and pieces of my life through my lens and honestly i want to share the good things the bad things life experiences with you all but still i want to actually be able to keep some things to myself some of you personally know me so you personally know my man or you know my man like you've seen the face behind the camera <laughs> and some of you have not which i hope that someday like i just hope someday all of you would see because he's such an amazing soul and he's so beautiful and i want to share him with you all but right now at this point and stage in my life i really want to keep him to myself like i want to have him to myself and not really share 100 percent to you guys but you guys get to see us when we go on, on dates and we even have something coming up very soon you guys will get to see him did some peace here and there we have something coming in july is going to be we're just going to start off as an amazing month wait for it and yeah but in all i just think i keep my man away from social media as much as i can which because i just want to have that part of my life to myself right now i don't think i want to share 100 percent those on whatsapp might actually have seen him one like on more than one occasion you guys know some days i wake up and i'm all mushy mushy and i share but i'm just not ready to share on youtube yet hopefully someday i get to share on youtube maybe maybe not because i would really love even when i'm married for him to have um 
for us to have a little bit of privacy and some things kept to ourselves but who knows maybe tomorrow i'm going to share maybe next tomorrow i'm going to share maybe i would never share well, this yeah. question asked are you married <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not married i am not married guys when i get married you guys would probably be the first to know yeah i would probably announce that i'm getting married on youtube then before any other place when i finally i'm ready to settle in settle down or when i'm finally settled down you guys we all know <laughs> and someone asked here i kind of kept these two questions close to each other because they kind of seem similar somebody asked what advice would you give to someone looking to get married so i'm not married yeah some of you actually think i'm married i'm not married but the advice i would give to someone i would even give to myself i would give to my sibling if they are looking to get married or i am looking to get married is get a kind partner get married to a kind partner make sure the person you're ending up with the person you want to do forever with is a kind partner i love so much i love many things about my partner my I love so many things about my partner but i love the fact that he's such a kind soul he's a sweet soul so get a kind partner that that's like the bottom line for me the next question says how much is your annual rent and how much did your bedroom makeover cost okay so this question i think what led to this question is this person um, saw my um bedroom makeover video if you have not seen that video please go watch it it's on my channel go watch it so my annual rent cost I me mean, why if my family members are watching this oh baby sure you people should make sure it's yaha make sure that you don't show this to momsy because <laughs> i will <laughs> okay make sure you don't show this to mom see <laughs> even though i'm an adult guys and living on my own as there are still some things i'm really scared of telling my mom because I... please so, uh, my annual rent is actually 250k um first year i think i paid everything i paid was about 320 and that was part of the reason i couldn't get a new house the good houses i saw for good standard was like 350 300 there about and i really did not want to pay 300 per year i wanted an annual rent of about 220 if possible 250 250 was like the max for me so first year should be should not be anywhere more than 350 but that kept being a problem so that was part of the reason i didn't move and then i kept seeing some 250 houses that nah nah i don't even want to talk about it and the this question is interesting she also asked how much did my makeover I, I cost i kind of listed it on my channel i listed it in that video but i would say i've not done a total sum of how much everything cost me but i think i have a breakdown somewhere if your ex comes back to you okay i think she was trying to say if your ex comes back to plead will you ruin your present relationship no it won't no it will not so i was approaching to um date about three i have about three exes if i'm not wrong and i was opportune to date these three i would i've had one or two in between them i've had a few people that i tried being in a relationship with because, but i would not really call them my ex i would say they are maybe if, i don't know how to put them but categorize them but they are definitely not my ex so but the three i can think about right now were amazing in their own way they had their they had their lapses we had our fallouts and all of that but nah <laughs> the next question says um the next question asked or oh, it's kind of says not really asked I was diagnosed with PCOS and it hasn't been the same ever since. It's been draining mentally and financially. The acne, the... What's this? What did I write here? 
okay i think it's weight gain that i was trying to write so the acne the weight gain um this is not really a christian ball i guess since you talk about it you want me to talk about mine guys my because journey has been something i've been really 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 sensitive about sharing i remember coming to tell you guys that i was diagnosed with because i told you guys how many months after that's another video that brought about certain comments that really got to me some persons came to ask me was i really diagnosed with because if i put out something on my channel best believe it's something i'm going through i don't like if i put out something and say i'm going through this thing best believe it's something i'm going through i don't see the need to come and lie for the views or the clicks and all of that my channel hasn't even grown so i don't think i want to grow my channels based on lie and pretense and fabricating things no i don't need your pity party as much as i feel like some of you should understand what sympathy is i still don't really expect i still didn't really expect some things i saw in my comment section or i deleted some comments yeah i deleted about three comments and then some persons came on facebook people that i really least expected to ask me was i really diagnosed of picos if i came to tell you i was diagnosed i was diagnosed of picos i have picos i'm struggling with picos it's a really sensitive matter if you don't know what picos is help me go through my channel you see a video where i said i was diagnosed of picos and watch it if not that i'm on my skincare journey if not for my skincare journey and how keen i am on skincare you guys my skin my facial skin would be a mess my skin literally will be a mess if not the fact that i take care of my skin whenever i see how bad it is or something triggers my acne again my acne again and gets bad i know how to like go about it and then a couple of days it's gone and then a couple of weeks the scars and all of that i'm working on it the hyperpigmentation and all of that guys my skin used to be bad i'll try and insert one or two of the latest ones i've felt or the one i've dealt with before and then the hair loss and all of that, that i just recently started experiencing at first i wasn't really experiencing the hair loss symptom but right now i don't know what to say guys let's not even talk about the depression the anxiety the mood swings all of that see i try not to let picos define me we've not even started talking about how draining it is okay you talked about yeah how draining it is for you financially see i get it the diet the sections the supplements i get but i would just say keep living that's one and then just find a way to go around it if you can see a therapist because sometimes we don't know how much we need therapy especially we africans you don't know the power of therapy you can see a therapy a therapist go for therapy sections if you don't have a specialist like you don't have a doctor that you use please go see a doctor so that they recommend supplements and all of that if you can get a dietitian or get a diet plan please do i've been dieting and i know how expensive our things can be and how our diet meals and all of that can be but i've sure found the way around it to an extent so these are things you can do to just help you and then sometimes if you ever get overwhelming find somebody that you love someone you trust and confide in. we've come to the end of this video so um july is going to be great i don't know how i'm going to push out content so that you guys don't miss out what i have going on by the second week of july the third week of july ha the fourth week of, i have great content coming in in the month of july but i think i need to clear the backload of content i have from may june you know i i think i even have from april because my house hunting video i did not go up but i think i'm going to incorporate it in a vlog merge it together and put it out for you guys well yeah till next time you guys thank you so much for watching thank you don't forget to like please let me know if you want to see more of these types of video and Next time when I put up a Q&A, I hope you guys will send in more amazing questions because 
I was so glad answering this one you guys sent in. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and please let me just say thank you guys so much for the support on my house, um, trans my bedroom transformation video. Thank you guys for sticking with me and growing with me and being part of this process. We are on our road to 500 subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.